Good. Hello, Varsity Show Choir Girls. This is your hair tutorial. So as you can see, we've already curled most of Kim's hair. Um, we used a wand. Mine is a bedhead one. Um, I got it at Target. It works incredibly well. I'll show you how we did the last a couple strands of it here. So you're going to want to coat with Aquanet first. And then do about one inch sections. Sorry, I forgot to warn you to close your eyes, didn't I? Kim got a little bit of that one. All right. And just wrap around the rod. Hold long enough for it to curl. And let it go. All right, and here's our last one. You could also use a regular type of curling iron um, if your hair is a little bit shorter um, and the wand doesn't work that well, but I like the curl that the wand gives you the best. There you go, and then once the curls are done, give them another spray, close your eyes, so that they set, and then you're good to go. So once you've got all your hair curled, okay, we're going to take, I'm just kind of slow it up a bit. What we're going to end up doing is teasing and then creating kind of like a little half back look. So the first thing I'm going to do is tease this back section. And you want to go pretty much all the way to the back of the head, like at the the crown of your head here. Comb it forward. Grab a little hairspray. And then you just back comb it. And Kim has really long hair, so I don't have to back comb more than like six inches of it. Okay? and do it real nice and big. All right, and then I'm just gonna keep working up in sections like that. She's being so good and patient while I tug at her head. Sorry, this isn't a very entertaining video. It's meant to be informative. So you will get all this hair off your head. You gonna shave me? No, I'm in out of your eyes. She's got a little bit of height on it. All right, we could even do maybe a little bit more, honestly. Yeah, I'm gonna give you a little more. I'm gonna give her just a little bit more. It's not quite big enough. Chalk. 
once you've got the bat combing gun, we're just gonna grab a couple of bobby pins and we're gonna take, whoop, hold the bobby pins, and take two kind of side sections from right about where the eyebrows are. And you're gonna pull those back and that's what we're gonna pin in place. And we're gonna just do a little twist back here. And once it's finished, I'll show you what that twist looks like. So you're just gonna, again, from the eyebrows, back. And then twist. As once you've got the twist, before you pin, kind of smooth it a little bit with your comb. Okay? And then you're gonna pin in the twist. Now the twist is totally pinned in, totally secure. Now, with the rest of the hair, we're just gonna kind of run fingers through. I don't have to comb, and we'll just do a tiny little bit of just up, like teasing, just to get this as puffy as the other stuff. So just right at the roots. Just give it a little up. Not to rat, let's just give it a little bit more life. Okay. show choir. <laughs> Sorry, Kim. <laughs> She's been a really good patient helper here. All right, I'm going to grab the camera so I can show the back. And then, of course, you're going to want to do some hairspray here so you get the flyaway stuff in. And you can comb that stuff in, too. Just get those tucked in there. Good. Here's what our knot looks like from the back. Okay, and once more, Kim, turn around and look. Super easy. <laughs> Smile like you're on stage. There it is. Happy hair doing.